In this video, we'll take a look at how to find an equation in slope-intercept form from two points. So let's say we're given these two points, 4 comma negative 8 and 8 comma 5. And over here on desmos.com, I've graphed those two points so you can see them. So you can see that there's one line in the universe that is going to go through these two points, right? That's going to pass exactly through these two points. And in this PowerPoint, we're going to look at how we can find the equation of that line. So the first thing we want to do is understand our goal, which is to get an equation in y equals mx plus b form, where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. So we're going to start by finding the slope. Because if we have two points, we can find the slope by finding the change in the y-coordinates and the change in the x-coordinates and then putting those in a fraction. So I rewrote the points a little bigger here. Let's look at the y-coordinates first. So from negative 8 to 5, it's rising 13. And a way you could do that is take the second y-coordinate, 5, and subtract the first y-coordinate, which is negative 8. So 5 minus negative 8 becomes 5 plus positive 8, and that's 13. If I look back at the graph, what I just calculated is that from this point, the red point to the blue point, we're going up 13 units. All right, now we're going to find the change in the x values. So from 4 to 8, it goes up 4. And now we have our slope, 13 over 4. The change in the y values over the change in the x values. Next up, we're going to write out a partial equation. So again, our goal is an equation in y equals mx plus b form, where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. We now have the slope, so let's write out this equation, y equals mx plus b, plugging in the slope into the m slot. So the slope was 13 over 4. We now have the equation y equals 13 over 4x plus b. And what we've basically just done is we have figured out the slope. So this is a line y equals 13 over 4x, right? And you can see this green line, if we shift it over to the right, it's got the right slope to be able to pass through the red and the blue points. But we have to figure out next what the y-intercept the y is going to be. Like if I make it plus 5, no, now it's going further away as it gets bigger. So it's going to have to be minus something. No, no, no. If I keep going down, you see I'm getting closer. Minus 17, that's close. If I make this number more negative, eventually I'm going to hit the right y-intercept and it's going to go through these red and blue points. But let's look at how to do that algebraically and then we'll verify our answer back on the graph. So to do it algebraically, our next step is going to be taking either of the two points we're given, 4 comma negative 8 or 8 comma 5, and plugging them in. And I'm going to choose 8 comma 5 because both of those coordinates are positive. So remember, 8 is x and 5 is y. So 8 is going to get plugged into this x slot, and 5 is going to get plugged into the y slot. So let's plug that in. And now we have the equation 5 equals 13 over 4 times 8 plus b. So now we can go about solving this equation for b and finding what b equals. So 13 over 4 times 8, we can cross-simplify, divide the 8 and 4 both by 2 and get 2. And then we do 13 times 2 and get 26. 5 equals 26 plus some number b. So b must be negative 21 because 26 plus negative 21 equals 5. And a way you can see that is subtract 26 from both sides. Those cancel out. On the left side, we have 5 minus 26, which is negative 21. And now we found the b, the y-intercept, and we found the slope. And so we have both of the ingredients we need to write an equation in slope-intercept form. So our final step is to write the full equation. Our partial equation was y equals 13 over 4x plus b. We just solved for b and found that b is negative 21. So we'll plug that into the b slot, and that is our equation. y equals 13 over 4x minus 21. 
and we can verify here by typing that equation that it passes through the two points we were given at the start of the problem. So let's take a look at one more example. And we won't graph this one, we'll just do it pure algebra. Find the equation of the line that passes through the points negative 1, 6, and 7, comma, negative 2. So again, our first step is to find the slope. From 6 to negative 2, it goes down 8, that's the rise. From negative 1 to 7, it goes up 8, that's the run. We'll put those in a fraction, negative 8 over 8, that's the slope. But here we can simplify. So let's simplify that to just negative 1. Negative 8 divided by 8 is negative 1. And now we're going to plug negative 1 into the m slot and write a partial equation. y equals negative 1x plus b. Step 3, we're going to pick one of these points and plug it in. And here, I'm going to pick this point negative 1 comma 6 because if x is negative 1 and I do negative 1 times x, that will be negative 1 times negative 1 and that will produce a positive. I'd always prefer to deal with positives whenever possible. So we'll plug that in. 6 equals negative 1 times negative 1 plus b. So 6 equals 1 plus b. And b is going to be 5 because 1 plus 5 is 6. So we've got, we got the slope. We got b. We have all the ingredients we need to write the equation of the line, which is going to be y equals negative 1 x plus 5. Now you don't need this negative 1. Right? You could just make it negative x if you want. You could leave the 1 out. And let's verify that this works. So we have our two points, negative 1, comma 6. And our other point is 7, comma, negative 2. So you can see our old line, not even close. It's got the wrong slope. It's nowhere near what we need. So we've got y equals negative x. You can already see that that slope is right. It's going to definitely hit, if we shift it up, the red and the blue points. And then our y-intercept was 5. And there we go. That, that equation produces the line that goes through the points negative 1, 6 and 7, negative 2.